greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and I believe that the Lord is going to bless you today in the mighty name of Jesus. And join me quickly as we turn to the book of First Chronicles, chapter 4. We are going to take it through verse 9 down to verse 10. First Chronicles, chapter 4, verse 9 down to verse 10. I'll be reading from the King James Version. The word of the Lord said, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. Verse 10. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed and enlarge my coast, and that thine hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil that it may not grieve me, and God granted him that which he requested. May the word of the Lord be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I would like us to consider the topic, victims of circumstances. Let us bow. Ancient of days, we ask that you destabilize our humanity, that the divinity in you might take place today, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Victims of circumstances. Many people around the world are troubled about the name their parents gave to them. Many people around the world are troubled because they were given birth to in a certain country. Many people around the world are not proud of their nativity. I know people around Nigeria are not proud to be Nigerians, probably because of what is happening in the country in Nigeria. And so, most of the time, you get to see people changing their names. I have an uncle who was not happy with the name his parents gave to him, although he did not change the name, but he added another name, and that became his first name. And so there are many people who were born in several conditions, and those situations gave them the names they have today. Some people in the eastern part of Nigeria are named Sunday because they were given birth to on the first day of the week. Some people are named Monday because they were given birth to on Monday. I know somebody who was called Omohara. Omohara is an evil name which means death. Please stop killing people. And the mother of this particular son gave him this name because she has always been having miscarriages or whenever she even gave birth to a son, the son will die. And so she named that particular son that eventually survived. Oh, that means death, please stop killing. You know, there are several people that answer different kinds of names. But you see, those people are just victims of circumstances. Most of the times we get ourselves involved in situations, we find ourselves in circumstances that if it was in our power, we can stop those circumstances. We can take them away. Most people find themselves in poverty stricken conditions that if it was in their power, they will alleviate the circumstances they find themselves. But then, they are just the victims of circumstances. But I want to tell you today that you are not the only one that is a victim of circumstances you find yourself, the circumstances you find yourself. There is a Bible character which we have just read out now that is named Jabez. He was named Jabez, the Bible says, because he was born in pain. His mom gave birth, gave birth to him in pain and he was named Jabez. Oh, what an unfortunate situation. What a difficult thing to experience. Learning me pain just because I was given birth to in pain. Oh, personally, I can never take that. I don't blame people who change their names because they wish good for themselves. Jabez, the Bible told us, was a man that was more honorable. And that is enough lesson. If you don't take any other thing from this video, I would like you to know that this is enough lesson. He was honorable notwithstanding the circumstance. You see, circumstances are not enough reason for us to make bad choices. Circumstances are not enough reason for us to go the wrong way. Circumstances are only step and step for good Christians to move up into the next level or spiritual stamina. I want you to understand that Jabez is someone that is worth emulating his character because he was still honorable, notwithstanding that he found himself in a bad condition. Oh, friends, will you be honorable? Will you be obedient to the will of God? 
Would you remain steadfast and serving the true God uh, when you find yourself in a very bad condition? I know nobody will want to be a Jabez, but everybody would want to be like Jabez after he must have become blessed. Because the Bible got us to understand that Jabez, understanding his situation, knew that he could not do anything but to run to God. The Bible says that he prayed to God and said, Oh, that you will have mercy upon me. Oh, that you will enlarge my coast. Oh, that you will change my situation. The name of Jabez was not changed, but his situation was changed. That means that you can still be named a bad name, but your situation can change. Hallelujah. You know what happened is when Jesus steps into your situation, your name does not matter. It does not matter what people think you are. It does not matter who people think you are. It does not matter your bad reputation at the time past. What matters is that you now bear the name of Christ. Hallelujah. What matters is that Jesus has stepped into your condition. And when you bear the name Jabez, Focus on God and not your name. Most of the time, people focus on their situation and they forget that there is something that can come from the outside world who can change their situations around. And so today, I have this word for you. God is calling you to remember that outside your name, outside your situation, outside your circumstance, help is on the way. If only you will call upon God just as Javis called upon the name of the Lord. And the promise is that just as the situation of Jabez changed, to the extent that it was documented that God answered his prayer. The Bible stated in the last sentence of verse 10 that God granted his request. And I promise you today that if you only put your trust in the Lord God of heaven, that it does not matter if you are a victim of any bad circumstance. The promise remains that God will change your situation, that your request will be granted. And you not just have a new name, but you have a new experience, you have a new circumstance, and you will shout glory all the way. May this be your experience, may this be your situation. In the mighty name of Jesus, 